when you're looking at Joe Burrow right now, and the injury is one thing, and they might have to shut him down, but this guy just got a whack of cash. He looks pretty casual out there for my liking. Maybe Hazy B doesn't mind it, but not for my liking. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll, I'll support Joe Burrow. You go ahead. You be a hater, Joe Burrow. Let's see how long yeah. that's going to You don't last. think Hazy that he looks a little bit cow? He's like, ah, oh, you know, kind of tough start. Wow, yeah. You know, he's got the thing rubbing his calf on Joe the side. Cool. Yeah, I it's hear you. It's like you're I a little too you. cool for school right now. I would be starting to click the panic button if I'm a Bengals fan. Mm-hmm. And I, I think where I come from, I know last year they started 0 2, and. They have an incredible offense with weapons everywhere. But where I get nervous, and Joe actually said it yesterday in his post-game presser, and he's like, you know, missing training camp has kind of hurt him a bit as far as timing, rhythm, fluid goes, fluidity. And my thing with Joe Burrow is he's not a 10-year vet. It's not like, you know, he's been an elite quarterback for a couple years, but it's not like he's an Aaron Rodgers or a Tom Brady that can just kind of be like, hey, I've been doing this for 15 years. Right. Training camp isn't as important. It still is important to those guys. But at that position, at his age, he's got to feel the rhythm, the timing, the throws. It's not there. Now you got a calf injury, which is going to mean that he's going to be limited this week in practice, maybe not full speed the whole week, so you're going to get even less reps. I don't know. I, I am starting to get a little worried about the Bengals. This well, they, I believe they have the Rams at home next Monday. 